Here's a quick recap in terms of what we just saw, what we just worked through. We checked out that new Photoshop CS6 darkened interface. I hope you're starting to come to like it, come to work with it. And I got to say again, that right off the bat, I was jarred at first, but you know, again, the more I work with it, the more I love it. So there you go. And we also got really comfortable inside this interface, getting around inside the interface, making the workspace our own, navigating through our images, working with our images. I had that heap of productivity techniques for you as well to help you move faster and work faster inside Photoshop. And then we talked about resizing, we talked about DPI, PPI, and LPI. We got really comfortable inside the image size dialog box. We talked about resampling or interpolation. And you also saw Photoshop CS6's new crop tool, which I hope you love as well. After that, we dug into the selection tools and we created that rusty robot face. I hope you had fun with that. We got used to working with the shape selection tools, the quick selection tool, the magic wand tool, the magnetic lasso tool. And we also dug into layers in a big way as well. And inside the, the topic on layers, the, the section on layers, you saw a variety of different layer types. We talked about layer effects as well. We dug into masking with the quick mask mode, with clipping groups, with layer masks. And then we dug into photo retouching and you saw some different techniques for helping you retouch your images. After that, we dug into color correction. We talked about Photoshop's color modes, primarily RGB and CMYK. We did the tour of the channels palette as well. We got started with basic color correction with those autocorrect commands. And then we got more and more and more advanced with curves and levels and adjustment layers. And then we took a look at Photoshop CS6's new autocorrect options as well. I hope you enjoyed that. We did, of course, non-destructive color correction. And then we got into some special effects. We saw filters. We saw how to apply filters and effects non-destructively. We saw the filtered gallery. And then we wrapped things up with Photoshop CS6's three new blur effects. I hope you have lots of fun with those guys. So there you go. There it is. Photoshop CS6. This is Jeff Blake for VTC. Again, I hope you had tons and tons of fun, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye for now.